Hello mga tol and welcome back to my channel at dito man tayo sa bagong video regarding sa comparison write speed ng PS5 internal storage at yung newly installed PNY CS3042 terabyte SSD. So sa nakikita nyo, this is the continuation of the previous video na nagawa ko. Uh, ilalagay ko yung link below para mas makita nyo yung pag-install ko together with the heatsink on my PS5. So ganun kabilis lang ang installation or uh, reformatting ng SSD na binili ko. Okay, so punta tayo sa settings para ma-check natin yung uh, newly installed SSD or M2 SSD storage. So meron tayong 2 terabyte storage which is really good para sa budget SSD. Okay. So try natin mag-move ng game to our newly installed SSD which is the Resident Evil with a total of 27.48 gig. At i-compare din natin yung write speed ng dalawa with the same game from PS5 to SSD and SSD going to PS5. Okay, so on the left is yung PNY CS3042 terabyte SSD compared to our PS5 internal SSD na nasa kanan. So nakikita nyo kung gaano kabilis yung PNY CS3040 while yung PS5 ay medyo hindi pa naka one fourth sa total storage. Habang naghihintay tayo dito matapos yung PS5, try natin na mag-move din ng isang game which is the Zombie Army for Dead War. Sa Resident Evil, nakakuha tayo ng 22.1, uh, 27.48 gig, while the Zombie Army is uh, ongoing pa. Hindi pa lang lahat is sa PS5 yung RE Village. Okay, so nakakuha tayo ng 23.3 sa Zombie Army 4 na may 34.4 gig of storage. Okay, yung next is yung Final Fantasy na merong 102.5 gig. So, in ko na mabagal dapat yung uh, pag-move ng game sa, P sa Final Fantasy 15 since ito ay umaabot ng more than 100 gig. Habang dito sa Resident Evil Village sa PS5, write speed ay ongoing pa rin. Umahabol na rin yata yung Final Fantasy 15 ko sa single copy lang ng RE Village sa PS5. Okay, so nakuha natin yung RE Village uh, PS5 game ng 2.01 minutes sa 27.44 gig. Samantalang Sa Final Fantasy 15 dito sa SSD ay malapit na matapos which has the 1.09 seconds a uh, 1.09 minutes with a total of 1 minute and 55 seconds and 164 gig of storage. Okay, so make sure na yung uh, storage natin ilalagay natin sa M2 SSD storage para automatic na itong mag-install sa designated uh, SSD yung mga games na nilalagay natin through digital or disk version okay, so buksan natin yung RE Village na installed sa SSD
Kung sa nakikita nyo ay medyo lagi yung video ng RE Village. Uh, sa totoo lang hindi. Uh, ito po ay cost ng recording ko. Napaka smooth po siya. At wala ko nakikitang uh, problems when loading uh, certain situation or events sa uh, RE Village. Okay, so try natin yung ibang games. Start muna tayo ng Final Fantasy 15. Which has the 102 gig of storage sa SSD natin. Ito po ay real time ng loading ng game on actual SSD. Okay, so try natin yung Dead War uh, Zombie Army. purpose ng video na to is to help PS5 owners who are planning to extend their storage. In regards to SSD na na-acquire ko, which is the 5,600 megabytes per second, sufficient na po ito sa minimum requirement ng PS5, which is 5,500 megabytes per second. Pero, doesn't make sense na kumuha ako ng 7,000 megabytes per second just for a small amount of speed boost on your console. Kasi ang masusunod pa rin talaga ay yung requirements ng PS5. Any kind of boost might be good, pero hindi siya worth para bumili or uh, mag-spend ng almost twice sa price mismo ng SSD na na-acquire ko dito. Hindi ko pinupromote yung PNY for the SSD on PS5 but to make people think or choose what kind of SSD are they going to acquire so I hope nakatulong ako sa video na to and just don't forget to subscribe like and comment share para maging updated kayo sa mga latest videos and gameplays ko so uh, thank you so much and see you